Thanks to Magellan TV for sponsoring this video. NASA has once again detected possible liquid water outside of our own planet. This discovery could completely change the way we think about the universe and might even finally prove that we are not the only living creatures in the cosmos. Astronomers and researchers have been stumbling around so much water in the universe that it's a shock their feet aren't soaking wet. The latest finding of H2O comes to us from one of the most unlikely of places, Saturn's moon. In this video, you're going to learn how much water was discovered on Saturn's moon. What is NASA's plan to actually dive deep into these untouched oceans? And can there really be alien creatures living beneath the icy surface? There are billions of planets and moons in the universe that have the possibility of containing life. If you want to dive even deeper into the cosmos, then make sure to visit Magellan TV. Their documentary, Life in Outer Space, is a two-part series that explores all possible locations in space that may contain life. Watch state-of-the-art space probes explore planets and moons in our solar system, while the most powerful telescopes in the world scale the universe right here from Earth. The results of this new research are nothing but amazing. It's one of more than 3,000 high-quality documentaries that are available on Magellan TV which features topics like space and science. Magellan TV has no ads and has a growing collection of 4K content, which can be viewed on nearly all of your devices. If you want to check out this documentary that I mentioned or any other like it, you can watch it for free by clicking my link in the description, which will give you a one month free pass to Magellan TV. MIMAS is often called the Death Star because of its resemblance to the Star Wars space station that struck fear into the heart of millions. But MIMAS isn't some dreaded creation of the Galactic Empire. Instead, it's a small moon of Saturn. It's also, surprisingly enough, home to a lot of water. For many years, scientists have assumed that MIMAS was a big ball of ice because of its heavily cratered surface. But the Cassini mission from NASA determined what was really going on with the moon. That's because while studying it, NASA saw that MIMAS wobbles slightly as it spins on its axis, suggesting that there is an ocean deep below the moon's icy surface. The concept of MIMAS being an ocean world is a bit mind-blowing and would be the first of its kind. According to geophysicists, it would be a new class of small celestial bodies, stealth ocean worlds that don't seem like them because of their surfaces. Elisa Roden was the brilliant mind that made this discovery about MIMAS, and while there is no confirmation of her theory being correct, it has created new interest in this moon and the possible great spewing ocean that lays deep below the surface. So, how would the underground ocean on MIMAS work? One theory is that Saturn's gravity is causing MIMAS to retract and relax, stretching and morphing, similar to the way our Moon interacts with Earth's oceans. This process could create vast reserves of energy inside MIMAS, which could be released as heat, warming the internal ice and creating a gigantic underground ocean of liquid water. Based on the models created by Roden and her associates, it is estimated that the ocean on MIMAS could be about 14 to 20 miles beneath the ice of the surface. So why would the discovery of water on MIMAS be such a big deal? That's because this suggests that there could be living organisms much, much closer to us than originally thought. Any ocean world in the universe might have deep sea hydrothermal vents that produce energy for any living organisms. We know this because we see it right here on our planet. At the bottom of the Earth's oceans, we have witnessed many vents that are producing sources of life. With the possible discovery of a massive ocean on MIMAS, we can assume that perhaps the same thing exists there. It is important to note that there is a chance that this theory is wrong. There might not be any ocean on MIMAS at all. If, for example, MIMAS's ice cools faster than they assumed, the environment wouldn't allow for an ocean on MIMAS and there wouldn't be the appropriate circumstances to create life. Further studies will need to be done to see what is lurking below the icy shell of MIMAS. 
Rest assured, with the promising possibility of water on the moon, much more will be done. If water really is flowing on my mass, it wouldn't be the only place in our solar system aside from Earth to have it. Did you know that there are many other places where scientists assume water exists? How about Venus? Yes, the violent and inhospitable planet might actually have water on it. A recent study says that oceans of water might be trapped in the mantle layer below its crust, which could come spewing out as hot water vapor or steam if the crust cracks open. You can also add one of Jupiter's most famous moons to the list of planets and celestial bodies that might contain water. That's right, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has found water vapor on Europa, which is leaving some scientists completely baffled. The vapors were found in the appearance of 60-mile-high geysers, which is, without a doubt, one of the most astonishing discoveries found on the famous moon. But questions remain about the geysers. For one, why do they only occur on one side of Europa? And what other watery mysteries lurk in the most well-known of Jupiter's 79 moons? For years now, many astronomers have guessed that the icy surface of Europa is hiding a huge ocean underneath, which is why they have been studying the moon closely to see what they could find. To discover the water vapor, scientists filed through Hubble Space Telescope data from 1999, 2012, 2014 and 2015 with the help of Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph. Now that they have found even more water than anticipated on Europa, the next step will be a deeper exploration of the Moon. That will be through the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, also known as JUICE, which is set to launch in 2022 and should reach Jupiter's system in 2031. Only then, through the use of advanced sensor technology, will scientists be able to determine how much water, and possibly life, exists on Europa. Of course, we can always stay much closer to home to find more water beyond our atmosphere. Recently, NASA's Stratosphere Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA, confirmed water on the sunlit surface of the Moon. The massive find indicates that water may be distributed across the lunar surface and not just in the cold, shadowy parts of it. Deep within the Clavius Crater, one of the largest moon craters visible from Earth, lies water in a concentration of about 100 to 412 parts per million, which is about a 12-ounce bottle of water. This water is trapped in the soil spread across the lunar surface in that area. This finding might not seem like a lot. In fact, the Sahara Desert has 100 times the amount of water than what is being found in the Clavius Crater. But you have to remember that any amount of water in space is something to write home about and can have massive implications. It raises a lot of questions for scientists. How is water made on the Moon? And more importantly, how does it survive in such harsh and restrictive conditions? Now that NASA knows the water is there, they can start doing the hard work to answer those questions. Water on Mars has always been one of the most intriguing and talked about subjects in all of space exploration. And now scientists are thinking that water flowed on the Red Planet far earlier than originally thought. Caltech researchers used the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to determine that surface water left salt minerals behind as recently as 2 billion years ago. This goes against previous claims that estimates that Mars water evaporated about 3 billion years ago. The concept of H2O being on the planet long after that is truly shaking up the way scientists view Mars. Scientists have been studying data from the MRO for the last 15 years to make their findings and took a deep long look at certain valleys on the planet's surface. These valleys held salt deposits, which confirm the presence of liquid water. As we know, Mars is now a dry, arid planet, essentially a large red desert. But it once had rivers and ponds flowing through it, and with that it likely had a lot of life too. If the water on Mars existed much later than many thought, that means life may have as well. 
In the grand scheme of space, two billion years isn't that long. There is no doubt that scientists will continue to look through the cosmos for any signs of life. The recent discoveries of potential water-filled moons means that we are getting one step closer, but it also raises even more questions that will need years of research to figure out. Until then, we will have to keep hoping that one day we will finally have concrete evidence that we are not the only living creatures in the vast reaches of space. Thanks for watching, and while you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space. I'll see you there.